Morning. Good morning. Thanks again for letting me stay. Oh, you're more than welcome. And the sofa's so... so comfortable. I, um... I slept like a baby. How do you sleep? I'm sorry? How do you sleep? Oh, oh, uh, soundly. Thank you. Excuse me. Oh, good, good morning. Morning. Oh. Come in. Hey, sorry for the uh, impromptu visit. Uh, well, think nothing of it. This, this is Carrie, uh, Lauren's mother. Hi. Hi. Look, um, sorry about your daughter. Thanks, that means a lot. Roy, if this is a bad time, then. No, 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 it's fine. As you can see, I have not exactly rushed off my feet. So what can I do for you? Why don't I give you some space? Oh. <clears throat> hey, look, Roy, um, about the other day, I, I, I shouldn't have lectured you. You know, I was just worried about Sam, that's all. You said nothing that was unfair or untrue. I know, but I should have been more supportive, got off my high horse. I'm sorry. Apology accepted. You know, and when this all blows over, you know, I'd love you two to spend some more time together. Well, I, I, I'd like that as well. Me too, with bells on. <laughs> you like a granddad too, isn't it? Mm, more like my BFF. BFF? Best friend forever. Ah. So how often are you speaking to the police? Oh, you know, maybe twice a week. Twice a week? Your daughter's missing. Like I said, I'm nothing in their eyes. Seriously, I'm not sure I'll be so calm. Well, getting angry is not going to bring her home, is it? I guess. Oh, afternoon. This is a nice surprise. Roy. Roy, are you OK? Uh, a woman... <clears throat> a woman claiming to be Lauren's mother just phoned. What? Apparently, she's been abroad. She called to asked me that I don't contact her again. She felt it inappropriate. But Lauren's mum's right there. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it must be some, some nut or wind-up merchant or something. That, that doesn't explain how she obtained my personal number. Everything all right? Um, some woman's just called Roy saying that she's Lauren's mum. That's weird. Yeah, yeah, it is weird, cos uh, only about ten people have Roy's mobile. Now, I'm not being funny, but have you got something with your name on it? OK. You got me. So, according to this blog, her real name is Alice McDowd, a.k.a. Alice in Cycola. Oh, no. What? She's got footage of Roy. Seriously? He's sleepwalking. What type of person would film me like that? The morally bankrupt. <sighs> I've never been so scared in my life. Proof on camera that Roy Cropper is a freak. The disturbing footage that you just saw was captured in the early hours of this morning. If Mr Cropper had caught me... I I hate to think what he might have done to me. I should have lumped her when I had the chance. Enough, Mr. Cropper's self proclaimed BFF is none other than an innocent young schoolboy. She must be talking about Sam. This woman is beyond the pale. Oh, I can't watch this. Well, it's all lies. I mean, we're going to have to make her take it down. Even if it's possible, which I doubt it is, it's already got over like 50 shares. <sighs> Oh, a bit of fresh air. Exactly what you need. Oh. We should go back inside now. Oh. Oh, you should be ashamed of yourself. You've seen my video, then? I opened my home to you. More for you. You lied your way into this man's house. What sort of a person are you? The sort that doesn't hang out with psychos. What? Is, is he your boyfriend? Oh, it's how you get your kick. You know absolutely nothing about this man. I know what I saw. Waking up to check his murder trophy collection. 
It was sleepwalking, you idiot. Is that going to be your defence, Roy? Hey, diminished responsibility. You stop filming. Oh, I swear, so help me, I will stuff that phone down your throat. Come on, Roy. How about some sharing? Stay away from him. Just stay away. I'd save that advice for yourself, yeah? Unless you want to end up like his first wife. You leave Hayley out. Oh, <laughs> a nerve of I. Stop filming me. You please. can't hide from the truth. Stop filming now. Oi! I'm so sorry. No, don't be. Oh. It serves the right. That's what they call karma. Can I help you? <laughs> That's assault! Oh, come off. It was an accident. Tell that to the police. This is Roy's sanctuary, isn't it? She's turned it into a target. Well, I know. He feels violated. He must have. Frankly, I don't think he knows what he feels at the moment. <clears throat> Roy has a visitor. Are you joking me? I need to speak to Mr Cropper. You don't think this is bordering on harassment, dear? A complaint has been made by Alice McDowd. Really? She was threatening him. She had her phone in his face and she fell over. I mean, I was there. All I know is Miss McDowd has been treated for a head injury sustained earlier today. <sighs> she can't be too poorly considering she's been posting on a blog every five minutes. Well, that's as maybe. Now, please, I have to talk to Mr Cropper. Why? Why do you need to speak to him? I did it. I'm sorry? Yeah, I did it. Um, I was just defending Roy, and I just, you know, I just pushed her over. So. Evelyn! Eh? Yeah, so if you want to arrest anybody, you better arrest me. Is what she's saying correct? Yeah. No. I'm responsible. In that case, I'll have to continue this questioning at the police station. Well, Miss McDowd claims you attacked her. That is not true. She's saying you pushed her. She lost her balance. As confirmed by Evelyn Plummer in a statement. Yeah, well, you'll excuse me if I take a statement with a pinch of salt, given she also tried to claim responsibility. Against my wishes. Duly noted. I have nothing to hide. Good. So tell me what happened. I asked Miss McDowd to stop filming me. And when she refused, I relieved her of her mobile device. You grabbed her phone? She tripped and fell as she attempted to retrieve it. That's all? As far as I can recollect. Would you say she instigated the confrontation? Without a shadow of a doubt. Did you feel she was trying to provoke you? Yes. In what way? It's all in the video. Yeah, I'd rather hear it from your client, if you don't mind. Exactly how did Miss McDowd attempt to provoke you? Amongst other things, she suggested that I was somehow responsible for my wife's death. Hayley Cropper. She passed the pancreatic cancer on the 20th of January 2014. I read the coroner's report. No evidence of foul play. I'm sorry for your loss. And this incident, it occurred after you discovered Miss McDowd had gained access to your home under false pretenses? Yes. How was that achieved? She claimed to be Kerry Bolton. Lauren Bolton's mother? Yes. And you invited her to stay the night? Yes. A complete stranger whom you'd never set eyes on before? I had no reason to suspect any deception at that point. And yet you were deceived. Not to mention humiliated. I mean, she even videoed you sleepwalking. How did that make you feel? I feel... felt foolish. Just foolish? Mm. You weren't even a little bit angry? Obviously, yes. Because she'd violated your home? Yes. And tried to tarnish the memory of your beloved wife? Yes. That's a lot to process. You wouldn't want to let out in those circumstances. As I have said previously, I did not attack that woman. Just like you didn't attack a Mr. Gary Windass with a cricket bat on the 26th of December 2014. Actual bodily harm. Turns out, Roy, you've got quite a temper.
Where's Roy? They, they've refused him bail and they're holding him overnight. What? That's insane. Yeah, he hasn't done anything wrong. The woman's injuries suggest otherwise. Um, I was there. She tripped over the pavement. Awkward is this more? Yeah, after making false accusations about Haley And scheming and lying to get into his flat. Exactly. Why aren't they arresting her? Because a civil trespass is not a crime. Yeah, but still. I mean, I'm still surprised you didn't manage to make bail, and for what? Like a common assault at worst. That's not why they've refused bail. Then what? Not ABH. Not for that incident way back when with Gary Windass. What's ABH? Actual bodily, bodily harm. harm. It's not ABH. What is it, then? Roy's bail was conditional on him committing no further offences. What are you saying, Dee Dee? The police and the CPS have just been waiting for a reason to pull the trigger. And this latest incident passes something called a threshold test. Can we have this in plain English, please? What has Roy been charged with? Murder. They've charged him with Lauren's murder. 